Hi ladies, I am back finally today. It's been too long since I made a, my last video. I've just been really busy and I'm hoping I can make more videos for YouTube and I've done some live ones also that I think some of you have um, joined me for. And I'm trying to, as you know, I kind of uh, struggle a little bit with my videos <laughs> trying to get them on. So here is Nino, the Nino Sculpt, and I named him Rocco, but a lot of times I end up calling him Nino and Rocco, so either one, if you hear me say Nino or Rocco, this is this pretty little guy, and I did paint him myself, I just finished painting him some time ago, he is the Chinza Sculpt, um, by Chinza, and he is the first sculpt that has dwarfism. So, I'm sure I may be familiar with this big guy here. He raised a newborn in zero three months. <clears throat> Please be, uh, he's precarious. I really do need to get, like, a, um, changing table or something set up. So, this is kind of my makeshift changing table. So, he is wearing this, I got this, um, I guess it would be considered a sleeper. It's a gray sleeper. I love it. And, it's, and it buttons all the way down. I got this at Walmart. And they had them in other colors. And they're coming out. I mean, they've had out for a while. But it's like a um, sets of clothes that can, you know, you can match them with different pieces. But this reminded me of the long johns that people used to wear in the early 1900s. And it reminds me of the ones on um, the Walton show. So I just love these. I thought they looked kind of vintage even though they're not they're like in a vintage style and he has his shoes on that he usually keeps on i'm gonna take this bib off i don't usually do bibs much but i do like this one I have like two bibs that i really like so i'm just gonna change him tonight i hope everybody's doing well and at the end i'll show his face again i'm trying to like do the best angle so y'all can see the babies a little better but i'm not sure if I'm accomplishing that or not. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me adjust the camera. No, that's worse. Okay. I guess it is the way I had it the best. Okay. Is my camera moving? I don't know. It seems like it's moving sometimes. I think it's the camera slips. Like the, the arm at, that I have it on. Or the tripod. So we're going to get busy. I'm going to take his shoes off. I'm going to keep an eye on it so the camera does not slip. I hope all of y'all are doing well. I have caught a cold, it seems like, and it's kind of hanging on. So that's one reason I haven't been on lately because it's pretty stuffy. And I just don't really want to be sounding all stuffy on videos because that's not necessarily pleasant to hear. And it has made me feel a little under the weather, but I'm feeling okay. Yeah, it's his pretty old head. I love his head. And I, I really like how his hair came out. I did painted hair on him. I cannot do rooted. Actually, my dad taught me not to say you can't do something. So I can do rooted hair. I just am not very good at it. And I don't enjoy it. So I'll put it that way. I'm sorry. It's a little precarious. I don't want him to slide off this pillow. I have him on a little side table. Like stacked with pillows. It's like my makeshift changing table. But what I try to do is I try to set it up so that y'all can see the babies too. You know. In case we took that off of them. And if y'all saw the video a while ago of him, he uh I figured out that I just got size three diapers and they're still a little bit too small for my liking, so I may have to go back and get him some size four diapers. He's a big boy. He really is. Oh, so Sorry, y'all can hear me snuffling and sniffing. This is size... Well, gosh, this doesn't look like that big. We're gonna find out. This says three to six months, but it looks small to me. It looks more like a three months. So, let's see if I can show you this up close. This is a vintage... I guess you would call it a jumper. It's got, like, gray floor. It's one piece. It's gray roller bottoms there, and it's got a rocky horse in gray and bordered on there. And he has, and has a collar, and it's cream color at the top. 
and actually buttons up the back and it buttons in the legs. So I am not sure the best way to do this. Let's try it from the bottom. And let's hope Mr. Nino, he's already slipping. Mr. Nino does not slip off here. This is the boy. There we go. I really want to do something different for a little... See, I tried to put that pillow under his head because I want you to be able to see his face. I said, oh, my hands are all in the way, so you're not really seeing it anyway. So you're not seeing his pretty face anyway. I really got to get more co look, more um, conscious of... I hope I'm not doing this. More conscious of how you know things look on the video because I don't want to block the babies. I don't know, it looks like I'm being kind of rough. I'm not really being rough. And I'm still working on the giveaway baby. She's coming along good, the June kit. Um, this actually might be kind of small on him. This is funny. This is three to six months, but it is a small three to six months. I don't know if it's going to be tight on him. I know I am not choking him, I promise. Let me lift him forward. I'm not hurting Mr. Rocco here. There we go. That's better. Yes, I am working on finishing up the June kit, and she is just about done. Her painting is just about done. Pretty much all I have to do is mat her, and then I can paint her hair. And she will be done, and then I'll put her together. So I'm really shooting for, by this weekend, for her to be totally complete with her painted hair and everything and as soon as she's done I think I'll have fun and I'll do a video of her I may do a live video and then also do a live video on my Facebook once she's all finished showing her and then I will do a um, also do a details video for here on YouTube so both places will get a video of her and you know, I have big plans for this year for reborn and making babies, but they're just in the future plans. Because right now, oh, I thought I missed a button, but I didn't snap. Sorry, I'll just see in my hand in a way. It's not very fun to see my hand. So you'd rather see handsome Mr. Rocco. He says, yes. See me, please. I'm cute. I do plan to eventually, uh, I mean, y'all know if you found my doll making journey you know I've been reborn in vinyl for quite some time for six years and this past last year I just started pouring and painting silicone so eventually this year but it's gonna be pretty far out I want to start sculpting my own silicone dolls from clay meaning yeah I think I got the wrong button Mr. I was thinking I'm missing a button there somewhere I'm missing a button in the back. It's so weird looking. I don't know. I'll find it. Looks like I'm missing a button in the back. And y'all think that actually fits pretty good. It's a little big on them, but I like it. I like my babies to have sometimes wear their clothes big. So there he is in his little clothes. Let me lean him back here. See, there he goes. I'm going to move the camera back just a little bit. There we go. That's better. It's not quite so up close. Now you can see his whole outfit better. And as you know, the dwarf, the dwarfism babies, their limbs are shorter than regular size. And his little tag says Lullaby Club for the kind of clothes. So their limbs are shorter and their trunk is regular size. And they're the chunky little boys, little baby. He's a chunky little boy. So there we go, this vintage outfit. And I found these shoes, I'm gonna clean them off. I thought they went pretty good. They're like that gray blue color. And they're gonna be a bit big, but I'm gonna go ahead and try them on them. Cause he's got tiny little feet, but with socks, I think they'll fit okay. I don't know, I'm having trouble getting them on. Goodness, bud, I know your foot is big enough. Yeah, they're just so fat. I think I got him on. Did I get him in there, buddy? 
Yeah, they're quite big, but they're funny because they're never so our foot. I don't know. I'm not the best with putting on shoes. Shoes are hard for me to put on. Can't tell if that's maybe I have a wrong foot. I don't know. I think I stink. I don't know. I'm not good at that. Is that the way they go? <laughs> Let me try again. It's hard to tell. You say newborn, but it's hard to tell these shoes if they're like the right foot or not. They're so weird. I think this might be the wrong foot. These shoes are not going to go on. There we go. I don't think I like these shoes on him. I'm not feeling these shoes. All right, I don't like these shoes. They don't look right with the outfit. So I'm just going to put back on the ones he had on before. So the antique shoes. And these ones are weird because the bottoms are like curling up. So I have to put these on slowly because I don't want to mess them up. And I don't ever unbutton these shoes because they're vintage and I'm scared. The button's like really stiff and I'm scared if I undo it that they're actually going to like... And they're not snap back. So yes, I'm eventually going to um, I'm going to try to start sculpting as I said. So first you sculpt the process of silicone if you go making if you go from the very beginning is you sculpt a doll into clay and that's and then from the clay sculpture you pour basically the easy way to say this from the Clay sculpture, you pour on layers and layers of thick dragon silicone, and that makes the mold. And then after the mold is dry and made, you take the sculpture out of it. And sometimes the sculpture survives, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it breaks. But then you have the mold, and then, I think I'm going to put this in a sweater, and it's cold. And then the mold, from the mold, you pour into the mold the regular Ecoflex silicone. And that makes the silicone baby. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just pull this arm out of joint because I have the um, what I call them the the rings in his arm and in Rocco's arms and legs and head, so it helps him pose very nicely. So I would like to start. Um, I would like to start. Sculpting my own dolls, silicone dolls, but that's quite can be a ways down the road this year. But I would like to do that. I like this. He's got like a little. This is vintage and does have a little wear on it. Oh, that I get it's like a butter ball in this. It really does. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna tie it. It's a ribbon. I'm gonna tie it at the top just so. Off there. I don't know if it's really supposed to go like that, but I put it under his collar a little bit better like that. I don't know if that's totally supposed to go like that, but look, well, you know, he looks like a total butterball with that on. He looks like a big old butterball. That's so cute. He looks like a big old butterball. He says, like, um, I look like a big old butterball. That's what I'm gonna start calling his maybe his nickname, Butterball. He's so cute. So I'll just let y'all look at him for a minute because he's done. I put a sweater over this. That's not really how it's supposed to go, but I kind of thought it was cute. Look at a little man with his sweater on underneath this. So he's going to be definitely going to be warm. I think he's cute with a sweater on. Showing his little face. So anyway, I just wanted to come and show you a video today. I just talked for about a minute or two not long probably not even a minute but i just want to update you on what's going on and show you rocco here mr rocco this handsome fella mr rocco he wants to say he wanted to say hi to his aunties and get him a video made of him i hope you all are doing well and hope everyone's feeling well and blessed no one's under the weather just wanted to update you on what's going on not a lot, just busy again with homeschool for my son. So trying to do that. And I will be coming back. 
hopefully this weekend with a complete, like I said, a complete June baby for the giveaway. And I do want to state, I know I'm sorry, but this is going to be disappointing to some, but I have decided that I'm only opening the giveaway to um, people in the United States because I'm going to be paying shipping, so shipping will be free. So the contest is going to be open to anyone in the United States that subscribes to me. And I'll give you all more details later on. I mean, I have talked about the additional entries and stuff like that. You get additional entries. But if you have any questions about the giveaway or anything else or suggestions, just put a comment, please, and let me know. And I wanted to say hi to all his aunties today. He said he wanted to say hi. So I'll talk to you soon. I hope all of y'all are blessed and well. And having a good week and I will be back in the next day or so and I will be showing hopefully I'll be showing the twins and I may be doing a feeding video with them because I was suggested by my good friend so I may try to do a feeding video with the twins and I'll talk to you soon I hope you all stay safe and stay blessed and I will be back very soon and you know says bye aunties bye we'll talk to you soon thank you for coming by and I appreciate each and every one of you